Hi, my name is Patricia Daya. I'm an MD, PhD, and a professor in the Department of Medicine, a distinguished chair in oncology at the Department of Medicine, Division of Oncology, University of Texas Health, San Antonio. This work started uh, as a partnership with uh, Dr. Alice Soraini at UCLA. Uh, we uh, felt that we could develop an innovative way to study a few chromocytomas and paragangliomas by creating a new model of uh, mini organoids. So organoids are uh, mini uh, structures that try to copy the tumor um, on a, on a a petri dish or a plate uh, so that we could study them uh, straight from a uh, patient cells. So, uh, so the study involves creating these models, studying these models um, as they grow and uh, testing them in, in a variety of ways where we can really understand how the tumors develop, uh, what type of cells are important for the tumor, what makes them aggressive sometimes or not. And, and also, importantly, how certain drugs can be used potentially to treat them. This is a unique model because it, it tries to mimic or to copy exactly what is happening in the tumor cells in a plate. So this has not been done in pheochromocytomas and paragangliomas yet. It has been done for other tumors, more common types, but not for this particular tumor. So we're trying to develop and refine a model that can eventually be expanded to other cases and other patients and other labs. So it would be uh, an important resource for uh, other researchers in the field. Rare tumors, uh, and especially neuroendocrine tumors, they have very few available models for studying that reflect the actual human tumor. So, uh, models that will uh, develop uh, in, in this area will benefit patients and can provide uh, precision medicine opportunities. So we can treat the, the tumors based on their genetic profile and their genetic unique properties. So we're, we're excited that this, this project can also illuminate uh, information on, on unique aspects of individual patients. So the possibility of creating this model where we can observe and manipulate in a way that can give us answers to so many questions that we've had for, for decades is very exciting. We are very fortunate to have been selected for uh, developing this, this preliminary work, this initial um, uh, uh, idea and uh, with the hopes that this is going to be become something of uh, a broader resource in the future. So we're, we're incredibly grateful for, for the funding. Um, it, it's not common for uh, rare cancers to be uh, selected uh, for funding. So this is a unique opportunity for us to develop this, this model. The progresses that we make here will have an impact uh, beyond sometimes these particular tumors and into other neuroendocrine tumors beyond pheochromocytomas and paragangliomas because uh, these, these models can, can potentially serve as a screen. So we're very lucky to have, uh, uh, to be able to count with the generosity uh, of the donors in this, in this project. And uh, we're, we're certainly grateful for any advances that we can make that will improve patients' lives.